from the Chrome Web Store, search Library Extension. It should be the first one that pops up under Extensions. You'll see the three little books in the icon. Just click Add to Chrome and then click Add Extension and you will see it pop up up here. You get a little welcome message. It does offer the possibility of signing up, but I am able to use it without having to do that. Um, I think by signing up, it'll just uh, send you emails regarding the latest features and options. So you're probably fine not signing up for any type of account. And to see how it works, um, I'm first gonna open an Amazon search. And then while that's loading, I'm going to go to my extension here. And I'm going to want to choose options. And it's going to ask you to set up your library. So before you do any kind of searching on a vendor site, you're going to want to uh, obviously keep it on the United States and choose your state. The libraries that it will let you set up are only public libraries. Unfortunately, it does not let you set up the school library. And then from here, um, you can choose all of the libraries that you would like to add. So I'm going to put in the Benton North Public Library, click the plus sign. Um, I'm not going to search ebooks, but you can leave that checked if you want to. And I'm also going to add in the Davenport Public Library. And I also live near the Scott County Public Library, which is in Eldridge. So I'm going to add that one also because it's actually pretty close for me to pick up books there and add that. And I am, again, going to take off the ebooks. OK, and then I can close that. Now I'm going to go back to my Amazon search here. And let's search for a book I know is probably at the library. Um, there's a new diary of a wimpy kid. Just It's called The Getaway. I'm going to go ahead and search that. So I'm going to open that book up and the extension um, will detect that you are searching for a book on a book site. And you can see over here on the right hand side it is checking those local libraries for me and I can see if there are copies available and I can also see if copies are in. And then by clicking the link here it will actually take me to um, the library page where if I wanted to place a hold on the book, I could. So before you pay for a book and you want to easily check to see if the book is actually available in one of your local public libraries, you may want to consider adding the extension, uh, library extension. And um, it not only works with Amazon, um, I've only tested on a few book vendor sites, but I've tried Barnes and Noble. So I'm going to search for the book, same book there. Just so you can see that it works on all these. And here is that new one. So I've opened the book. My extension will sense that I'm looking at a vendor site here. And again, you can see that um, the public library availability has popped up here too. So if you have any questions about this extension, library extension, um, just send me an email or stop by the library.